Righto, so it's my last morning in Vegas. I'm about to head off to the airport very shortly. I was supposed to be catching a Greyhound bus down to Phoenix, Arizona. But I changed my mind. I booked a flight instead. It would have been cool to, to, to catch the Greyhound bus, but uh, 12 hours on a Greyhound bus and seeing the scenery I saw basically when I went to the Grand Canyon. You know, I just think it's a wee bit much really. Life's too short. It's basically the same scenery. You'd see seven different shades of dust from here to there. And uh, yeah, I mean, would have been cool, but I'm going to fly instead. It's a, it's a one hour, 15 minute flight instead, rather than 12 hours on the bus. So I've packed up. I'm ready to leave the Airbnb now. Flight's at one o'clock, but it's for Southwest Airlines. And apparently you should get there like three days early. So I am going to get there early. I'm, probably going to go for some breakfast now somewhere and then I might head out to the airport sort of 10 o'clock-ish it's been really cool I've loved Vegas I haven't seen a third of the stuff I wanted to see which was pretty much expected I had about 19 places that I'd worked out that I wanted to go to or wanted to see and I've been to about I suppose eight nine of them but I knew that just three days was going to be really, really hard to do everything that I wanted. And so I kind of prioritised it. It's, yeah, really cool. Great town. I've felt safe the whole way around. No matter what time of the day or night, I've never felt unsafe. I keep my satchel bag fairly close to me. To me. I don't sort of have it hanging off my back or anything. It's, uh, it's always within easy reach of me. Now I guess just precautions you take. I did see a scrap on the uh, on the strip on Tuesday night when I was at uh, when I was walking down the strip when I was walking to Bellagio to get that fabulous light show that we never saw. I did see two guys that were having a bit of a punch up in the strip and uh, yeah, just one on one. I don't know what triggered it or anything, but I never felt unsafe during it or anything. But then I wasn't going to pull out the camera to, to show you either, because it attracts attention sort of thing. Uh, so yesterday was my last day obviously, or well, my last full day here. I went to Denny's for lunch, because why not? I went to the Pinball Museum, which is one of my must-sees while I was here, in the Pinball Hall of Fame. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures and a video of that. If you're not right into pinball, just fast forward through the video. I can't remember how long it goes for. I think it's seven minutes or something. And then last night I went to the Piff the Magic Dragon show. Really cool. He is a great guy. And on my way out, they insisted that I have my photo taken, like they wanted their photo taken with me. They insisted, so, I mean, what's the guy to do? You've got to oblige, don't you? So I'll show you those photos as well. So that's just two videos on here. I mean, feel free to fast forward through if you're not interested, but uh, I think they're pretty cool, and it's my trip. Righto, so I'll catch you from Phoenix. See some of the games I got. A lot of the games are out of order because apparently if they're not working 100%, they just turn them off until they are. World Cup Soccer Looney Tunes Bugs Bunny I should say So we Captain Fantastic Valley's Wizard We're about 77 High School Pool which I've never seen before Fun House Apollo 13 Shack. I've never seen this one before either, Gottlieb. It's a shack. So yeah, a couple of them are switched off because if they're not working properly they don't have them on at all until they're fixed. A couple of old EMs, a couple without backboards. Up 
pretty incredible. I mean, a different type of incredible water, incredible to what I saw yesterday, of course, but as, well, anyone who knows me knows this is my thing, really. Just about this whole row is out of order. I'm actually a bit disappointed with how many are out of order, to be honest. Eight ball deluxe. Maybe I'm getting seasick watching this, but here's some of the newer ones, Austin Towers, Guardians of the Galaxy. Pinball Circus, this is the new one on there, it looks like a this. Yeah, I'll look at that one later. These are the real new returns, Deadpool, Avengers, Kiss, Ninja Turtles, Wheel of Fortune, one might come back to that one. Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, the remake of Black Knight, Game of Thrones, Rush, so I'll make some new ones down there, let's go have a look at some of the old EMs. I'm actually really disappointed at how many have switched off, but uh, not much we can do about it. Taxi, that's a great game, Taxi. That was a good game. Stock car, this is a real old one, about 59. Grand Slam, another old one. I think it's a time machine, it's missing the back glass, but it's a time machine. Rapid fire, the most ridiculous thing to ever be called a pinball in all its days. Doctor Who, great game. <coughs> Speaking of great games, Cyclone. There's an early 8-ball deluxe, there's an early belly one. The other 8-ball we just saw was a remake of it basically. Or the sequel I should say. Car Hop by an old Gottlieb game. Let's go around the other side and I'll come back to you. Countdown, here's a great game too. An old countdown from about the... Um, must be about 82, 83 countdown maybe. So we can have a look on the uh, pinball database for me. Got Lee's Torch. I think this was for the 84 Olympics, I think, from memory. Out in LA. I think it was anyway, so it must have been just 83, 84. Hulk, from about 79 I think, maybe 80. A couple more that don't work there. Sorry for non-pindle people, this is probably boring, you can fast forward if you want, but uh, this is my thing, and it's my video, so you can all GG if you don't like it, Just in the nicest possible way of course. I've never seen this game, so they got the Vegas game, never seen this one before. I'll come back to that though, Haunted House, great game but it's switched off. A couple more that have switched off, Jurassic Park, these are sort of uh, early 2000s games. Teed off. A few more that have switched off. 
Like there's a shitload of games here, but it's disappointing that so many have switched off, but there's still something to play. Fire power over there, I'll just wait for these people to get out of the way and I'll show you that. Williams Firepower. I think this is the first multi ball game that you can get multi ball out of. I think they had a uh, two ball multi ball, and it was the first multi ball game ever. Like I say, if you're not interested, fast forward or turn it off or whatever, but. Roller coaster. From. I've got to say 63 maybe. But I could be wrong there. Quite a few more here switched off. It'd be great to see them all going, but what can you do? Wild Wheels. Here's a really early game. This is from like uh, late 50s, I'm imagining. Here's a bingo game switched off, but it's a bingo game. There's no flippers on it, it's just the holes here. Wasn't really a game of skill at all. Four Queens by Belly, that's a good game. Come on down here, some more uh, older ones. Skydivers, that's cool, I wish that was on. Let's go for a walk back down here. Nice review. This is an interesting one. Target Gallery. Never seen this one. Toreador. A couple more that have switched off, so I won't worry about them. King Pool. Probably late 60s. Rock makers, I've never seen this one. They said the short flippers, but I don't think they like the short flipper ones, the two and a half inch flippers or whatever they were. Gully's Old Chicago. Another bingo one here. Over that side, there's all uh, video games, eh? old video games, classic video games and that. I won't worry about that. You're already probably bored enough. Don't worry, I'm not going to take you all the way down the aisle, but this is a lot of EM games down here. And actually, most of them look to be switched on, so it's good. Certainly in this first half of the aisle. I can go and have a look there by myself. Kitty Casino game. Like I say, not everyone's thing, but an old bowling queen. This would be like um, if it's not late 50s, very early 60s. Kingpin, same again. So these games are all 50, 55 years plus old. Yeah, hooty dooty over there in a Central Park too. I think Central Park was very, very early 40s, I think, for memory. Oh, these are some classic old ones here. Centigrade 39, I think that's, uh, no, it's not a zipper flipper one. So anyway, yeah, that's me, Pinball uh, Hall of Fame and Museum. They have a small museum and hall of fame, but uh, they haven't got a sea witch. Hey, take care, and we'll catch us later. You're gonna get a bunch of cards chosen. If you're gonna choose a card, you're gonna stand up. We need seven people. If you're gonna choose a card, no hands. No hands up, stand up.
One over there, two over there, three, four, five, small child at the back. You over there with a fifth t-shirt. You waving your hat. Round of applause for these seven people as they join me down here at the microphone. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing with the cuts? Pick them up. Pick them. Don't just like, drop them all over the floor. Oh my god, Jimmy. Thank you. 
rules, all right? Now he's gonna change it into the line of don't give it to him just yet. That's gotta hold it out to him. Jimmy, show it to the camera, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Brian Diamond! 